All right, so what the hell is popping, everybody? It's your boy EDP four four five back here with the Sports Junkies one on one. I'm just going to give you guys my picks for Week Four, and we're going to get on into it, okay? First game we have Thursday night game: San Francisco 49ers at the St. Louis Rams. Um, I got the 49ers in that game. I think the Rams are just a terrible ass team. Um, they can't get get anything going, and to be honest with you, I think they're one of the sadder teams that have been in the league. You know, right, right along the edge with um, um, the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Cleveland Browns. Okay, you know, <clears throat> well, that's kind of messed up. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say I wouldn't necessarily compare them to the Browns and Jags, but you know, um, they're just not a good team. And people are sitting back saying that Colin Kaepernick is terrible. He's garbage. You know what I'm saying? Um, any person with half a brain would take the 49ers up in this game. I mean, the Rams. I mean, the Rams just suck. I'm going to be real with you. I mean, um, Dallas Cowboys went into their stadium and just ran the hell all over them. So I got the San Francisco 49ers in that game. Next game, Ravens and Bills. Um, I'm thinking the Buffalo Bills have been this game. Uh, let's see. Next game, you have the Arizona Cardinals and the Buccaneers. I got the Cardinals have been this game. Buccaneers are just terrible. I'm going to be real with you, man. They're just garbage, okay? So, besides, I know how the Cardinals got shellacked by the New Orleans Saints, what, 31-7, to 7, but I but, but I, have, I got the Cardinals up in this game. I mean, the Buccaneers are just, the Buccaneers just isn't a good damn team. I mean, they're just garbage. Uh, let's see, Steelers and Vikings. I got the Pittsburgh Steelers up in this game. I mean, you look at the Minnesota Vikings, and they haven't, you know, they got a trash-ass quarterback. Christian uh, Ponder, that guy garbage. Uh, let's be real here. Let's keep it real, all right? Um, they just suck. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, of course, people, of course, we know the whole Steelers situation. I mean, they're garbage and they suck ass, too. But when you look at Big Ben and you look at Mike Tomlin and you look at, and you look at their defense, which is struggling to stop opponents, you know, I'm sorry. I'm just going to give the edge to Big Ben, you know, and Mike Tomlin. I mean... I mean, even though the Bears did beat them last week in their stadium, you know, it, I just feel like the Pittsburgh Steelers are ready to make some noise, bring the noise, and they won't disappoint. And besides, the damn Vikings lost to the Cleveland Browns. How the hell do you lose? How the hell do you lose that garbage ass team? You know what I'm saying? Uh, next game, New York Giants and the Chiefs. The game is will be in Arrowhead Stadium. Uh, let's be real. I got the Chiefs. Um, the, the New York Giants, they suck ass, okay? You know, Eli Manning has already threw eight picks in just three damn weeks of football. That Man, the, the, I mean, the Giants are just garbage. I mean, the way they got their asses blown the hell out, 38 to nothing by the by the Carolina Panthers. Cam, oh, Cam, I mean, just raped the hell out of that goddamn defense, dog. You know, I... <laughs> I got the Kansas City Chiefs. I hope the Chiefs just whoop their ass and um, the Giants can go to 0-4, you know, because their fans have been talking a lot of damn crap. They've been talking that fly stuff. You know what I'm saying? They've been running, they're running their goddamn mouth all this year, and it's coming back on them. Next game, Colts and Jags. Colts of the Jaguars just suck ass. Um, next game, Seahawks and Texans. <laughs> I got the Seahawks up in this game. Next game, Bengals and Browns. Bengals. Next game, Bears and Lions. Um, I got the Bears in that game. Um, after that impressive win, you know, in Heinz Field last week, Bears and Jay Cutler. I think I think they're gonna bring the noise. You know, and no disrespect to Cam. Nah, I can't. I'm sorry. That's no disrespect to Matthew Stafford and Calvin Johnson and company. But I just see the Bears winning this game. You know. Um, Jets and Titans. I got the Titans. Um, Redskins and Raiders. I got the Raiders, dog. Like, I mean, and that that's not being biased. I'm just saying, dude, I got the Raiders, man. The Washington Redskins, they're just a tear, man. That goddamn team is garbage as hell, man. Basically two garbage-ass teams, to be real with you, but I got the Raiders, man. I got, I think, I think Oakland's going to pull other down. I'm sorry, man. The Redskins just is just a terrible damn team. Um, next game. Eagles and Broncos. Um, Broncos are gonna whoop my ass. 
Uh, well, it ain't going to whip our ass. Um, I say we will be able to put up some points, you know what I'm saying? Just like I was saying before, you can't go in this game with this whole high tempo offense because the altitude is really the altitude is really is really high up there at Mile High Stadium, you know what I'm saying, in Vesco Field. I know it's called Sports Authority Field, but hey, I'm old school with it. I'll call it in Vesco Field, okay? Um we got to find a way to, just like I was saying before, we got to find a way to maintain and sustain drive without using the high-tempo offense. Their defense is suspect. They do have some holes. You can't put up points against this defense, you know. But switching it on over to the um, to our defense going up against their offense, you know, they got Wes Welker, Demarius Thomas, and they also have Eric Decker. And you also have Peyton Manning, one of the best quarterbacks – in the history of the game, you know what I'm saying? He's going to, I'm going to be real, dude. He's going to pick our damn defense apart, you know, and we got garbage ass Billy Davis on third and long situations that like to sit back, you know, rush three and keep up uh, and keep and keep eight other goddamn people back in coverage. So at the line of scrimmage is basically a damn five on three. The last time I checked, there were five people on the offensive line. You got your two guards, your two tackles and, and, and your one center. That's a five on three. I don't give a goddamn if you got the whole damn stadium back there in coverage. You know, any quarterback, I don't give a damn if it's Terrell Pryor or Christian Ponder is going to pick this def is going to pick a defense apart if you're not gener if you're not able to generate a pass rush. They're going to pick it apart. So I got the Denver Broncos up in this game, to be honest with you. Um next game, let's see, Dallas Cowboys and San Diego Chargers. Um, I got the Chargers. Um, next game, Patriots and Falcons. Um, I got the Falcons. Can't stand the goddamn Patriots. Hate that damn team. And they're at home. I got the Falcons. Um, Monday night game, Saints versus Dolphins. Um, I got the Dolphins up in this game. You know, people, just like my man Nitro Freak was saying, man, there ain't nobody giving the goddamn Dolphins no no respect. You know what I'm saying? They are they're three and zero, and I believe they're going to march into the damn Superdome and put a hurting on them. Ryan Tannehill, I like him. They also have Deion Jordan that they drafted out of Oregon. I got the Miami Dolphins. Those are my picks for the week. Week four, it's your boy EDP445 checking the hell on up about it here. Y'all have a good one and peace.